In Numbers chapter 31, Holman Christian Standard Bible. The Lord spoke to Moses, execute vengeance for the Israelites against the Midianites. After that, you'll be gathered to your people. So Moses spoke to the people, equip some of your men for war. They will go against Midian to inflict the Lord's vengeance for, on them. Send 1,000 men to war from each Israelite tribe. So 1,000 were equipped, recruited from each Israelite tribe out of the thousands of, in Israel, 12,000 equipped for war. Moses sent 1,000 from each tribe to war. Then he went with Phinehas, son of Eleazar the priest, in whose care were the holy objects and signal trumpets. They waged war against Midian as the Lord had commanded Moses and killed every male. Along with the others slain by them, they killed the Midianite kings, Evi, Rechem, Zor, Hur, and Reba, the five kings of Midian. They also killed Balaam, son of Beor, with the sword. The Israelites took the Midianite women and their children captive, and they plundered all their cattle, flocks, and property. When they burned all the cities where the Midianites lived, as well as their encampments, and took away their spoils of war and the captives, both man and beast. They brought the prisoners, animals, and put spoils of war to Moses, Eliezer the priest, and the Israelite community at the camp on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Moses, Eliezer the priest, and all the leaders of the community went to meet them outside the camp. But Moses became furious with the officers, the officers, the commanders of the thousands, and commanders of hundreds, who were returning from the military campaign. Have you let every female live? He asked them. Yet are they the ones who, at Balaam's advice, incited the Israelites to the unfaithfulness against the Lord at the Peor incident, so that the plague came against the Lord's community? So now, kill all the male children and every woman who has had sexual relations with a man, but keep alive for yourselves the young females who have not had sexual relations. You are to remain outside the camp for seven days. All of you and your prisoners who have killed a person or touched the dead are to purify yourselves on the third day and the seventh day. Also purify everything, garments, leather goods, things made of goat hair, and every article of wood. Then Eliezer the priest said to the soldiers who had gone to battle, this is the legal statute the Lord commanded Moses. Only the silver, gold, bronze, iron, tin, and lead, everything that can withstand fire, are you to pass through the fire, and it will be clean. It must be purified with the purification water. Anything that cannot withstand fire, pass through the water. On the seventh day, wash your clothes, and you will be clean. After that, you may enter the camp. The Lord told Moses, you, Eliezer the priest, and the family leaders of the community are to take account of what was captured, man and beast. Then divide the captives between the troops who went out to war and the entire community. Set aside a tribute for the Lord from what belongs to the fighting men who went out to war. One out of every 500 humans, a cattle, donkeys, sheep, and goats. Take the tribute from their half and give it to Eliezer the priest as a contribution to the Lord. From the Israelites' half, take out one of every 50 from the people, cattle, donkeys, sheep, and goats, all the livestock, and give them to the Levites who perform the duties of the Lord's temple. So Moses and Eliezer, the priest, did as the Lord commanded Moses. The captives remained, remaining from the plunder of the army had totaled 675,000 6, sheep and goats, 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 32,000 people, all the females who had not had sexual relations with a man. The half portion of those who went out to war numbered 3,370, 30, sorry, 33, 337,500 sheep and goats, and the tribute to the Lord was 675. From the sheep and goats, from the 36,000 cattle, the tribute to the Lord was 72. From the 30,500 donkeys, the tribute to the Lord was 61. And from the 16,000 people, the tribute to the Lord was 32 people. Moses gave the tribute to Eliezer the priest as a contribution for the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Israelites' half, which Moses separated from the men who fought the community, was 337,500 sheep and goats, 36,000 cattle, 30,500 donkeys, and 16,000 people. Moses took one out of every 50, selected from the nation of people and the livestock of the Israelites' half. He gave them to the Levites to perform the duties of the Lord's tabernacle as the Lord commanded him. The officers who were over the thousands in the army, our commanders of the thousands and hundreds, approached Moses and told him, Your servants have taken a census of the fighting men under our command, and not one of us is missing. So we have presented the Lord an offering of the gold articles each man found, armlets, bracelets, rings, earrings, and necklaces to make atonement for ourselves before the Lord. Moses and Eliezer, the priests, received from them all the articles made out of gold. All the gold of the contribution they offered to the Lord and the commanders of thousands and of hundreds was 420 pounds. Each of the soldiers taken plunder for himself. Moses and Eliezer, the priest, received the gold from the commanders of the thousands and hundreds and brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord.